Welcome back to the Black Ice. Now, I know I haven't done a video in a while, but life, man, life happens. <laughs> but I've been playing a lot of goalie in this the new hockey game, and I know there isn't much time left before the new one comes out, but I've been watching videos, and I, wa I watch other people's videos on how, what they do, how to play, how to build, and no one ever offers any real things anymore. They just reiterate the same old stuff. But I don't play the game like that. I'm more cerebral when it comes to playing this game. Because if the game is bad, you can still play very well at a bad game. Like, no matter how broken the game is, you can play really good at a broken game. But I've been playing a lot of goalie, and this is just to show you I am ranked 8th overall in all the 6s amongst goalies. And 6s is largely based on how many games you play, really, because I play a lot of games, but I don't play nearly as much as the rest of these guys. But, you know, it does, I think goalie, these stats actually matter because goalie is a standalone guy, whereas all the other positions are aided by each other. Goalie is aided by how well you play defense, but it can go bad real in a hurry. So I think these stats actually for these actually matter when it comes to goalie. So now let's get to what you're here for. You want to find out what the best goalie is. Now, make sure you like, subscribe, and all that good stuff, because I'm doing a lot more videos in the near future on different aspects of the game, because uh, like I said, I think a lot of it's been missing, and people want videos to show, to try to explain, to make sense of certain things, so I'm going to do a, a lot more videos of that. Well, let's jump right into the uh, goalie types. So, goalie types. This is where I think you make or break yourself as a goalie, because I don't think people understand how these stats work in terms of goalie, and I think it's the most important aspect of it. Let me actually clear all of this, make everything nice and neat. Now, I think most people start off with hybrid because it's middle of the road, everything, right? Every way possible. And I started out with hybrid too, and it got to the point where it was letting in way too many weak goals, every direction, every side. I want to be dominant in one thing, and then the other is going to be random, and you're going to get screwed, and it's going to be defense. But you've got to be dominant at one thing. Uh, hybrid didn't allow me to do so, and the goals that were letting in were crazy. Um, so I'm not a fan of hybrid. You can use the hybrid, um, but not a fan of it. Now, what I do, first thing I'm going to tell you to do is always be 6'5", because... I think the vision dictates everything because it dictates what the, the the way the goalie follows the puck. It dictates how quickly you move your pad, glove, everything because he sees the puck clearly. Now, if you watch a goalie while you're playing, you will notice your goalie follows and turns and twitches and everything. But if he can't follow the puck, there is no twitch. There's no quick turn. There's just a late reaction, which is what causes goals. A lot of the goals that go in against me are screen shots. Now, this isn't going to prevent you from getting screened. Getting screened is getting screened. But what you're going to do is it's going to help you with your movements. It's going to help because if the goalie can see the pass across, then he turns his body appropriately across, which then leads him to want to go. So every little movement you do in the direction he is turned to is like a big push, even though you're pushing it softly to that side. I hope that makes made sense. So I think 6'5", you have to be 6'5", just to get the height. Now, I've always thought, and it's been proven really in older games, I don't know so much about newer games, but all right. So you see how 6'5", let's say 200 pounds, is going to change the speed and the agility of the player as you increase it more and drop it down more, etc. Speed and agility, I don't think, plays that big of a deal anymore in terms of how you move across the crease. I think speed helps more when it dictates how far or how much when you push the controller to the right. Is it a little push or is it a bigger push? That's as far as speed goes. If you just yank the controller one side, it doesn't make you go faster. I've yet to see it make me go faster to make it save. But those quick taps then become faster or bigger. So if he moved one inch to the right on a quick tap to the right, 
with high with low speed. If he has high speed, he'll move two and a half inches on a quick tap to the right. I'm hope I'm making sense. Again, a lot of this you'll see as I go through more videos and go through more breakdowns. But this is just to get you started on what goalie you should choose. Now, let me go through the stats, actually. The most underrated stat is vision to me. And the most overrated stat is five hole. You are going to get scored on five hole. You are going, there's going to be plenty of goals going through five hole. I'm not sure what five hole actually does or what it saves. I, it's never proven to me anywhere that five hole actually helps you save anything. Five hole, you have to save your goals manually. Now, if they allowed you to be able to play at 6-2 and be able to save things close, save shots close to the post, then five hole and all that might make sense because you have a lower five hole. You don't have to drop into butterfly as much. But I've tried playing 6-2. I've tried playing 6-1. And the shots on the corner, the just... The offensive players pick spots on you easily. They don't, it's not as good. If they allowed you to be 6 2 and then save spots, save upper corners, then 5 hole would make so much sense, but the game doesn't allow that. So, why are you even bothering 5 hole? Um, and the, the glove high, glove low, glove, all those matter, but they don't matter that much. Like, you don't need to get a 90, you don't need to get a 80 whatever in terms of stabs glove high glove low you don't need to get that players are going to score on you forehand if they have enough speed to a corner unless you hug the post etc they're going to sco score on you if you don't aren't guessing that position because most of the goals scored in this game is dictated on how close the player is to you whether it goes five hole or leaks around or how fast the player is going so that way he is getting to a spot before you do and the game lets them shoot at very odd angles to get in the net. So I am not a fan of hybrid because it lets in too many crazy goals. Now, I am a fan of butterfly. I like the butterfly because the butterfly does, it does, how do I put this? It does a lot of desperation type saves without you doing desperation type saves. So because it's a slower build and it's most of the stats is in the lower category, like if, if a player shoots low or if they didn't elevate the puck and I didn't get over quick enough, it throw, the, the butterfly goalie throws its leg all the way out so that it kicks it without me seeing, but it'll do a split and sit in that, that position for a long time, but you'll make the save, you know? So, um, I like the butterfly for that aspect, and but I think the I I'm not a fan of rebound control, right? So if you're six five, and you are whatever level of height and weight you want to be, depending on your um speed and what you want your speed and agility to be, I don't like rebound controls. Rebound controls just leave the puck right in front of the net for the offensive player. So I like to be a lower weight if I'm a butterfly. If I'm a butterfly, I like to be a lower weight because then it drops down the rebound control below 90 and he kicks it a little further out. And, and that way you get a better chance to react as a human. But I don't like rebound control, so that's why I don't like the butterfly goal. Now, obviously, because I think um, vision is the most important stat, stand-up is my favorite um, goalie build. By far, it's my favorite goalie build. Um, it goes up, and it's at 6.5, you get a 95 vision. Now, this is how the stats work in NHL. So, if you're at a 95 you basically are a 96 to 100. You have to get to a 95 to get to 100, right? So unless you can get to 95, it's not worth anything. So if I was at, instead of a 95 vision, I was like the other players and I was at a 93, I don't care for a 93. 
Like a 93 Vision doesn't get me to 95. It just gets me to 90. It's the same as being a 90. In my eyes, it's, even though it highlights green, whatever, in my eyes, it's the same as being a 90 because you get that, that extra boost once you get over, once you get to 90, between 90 and 95, I think it's the same stat. But because you can get to 95, it means it puts you in another level of actual vision. And the rebound control for it, even though the rebound control is higher on a higher weight, is higher on a, a higher weight the the uh stand up doesn't allow huge rebounds in front of the net he allows rebounds towards more towards the side of the net and more towards the uh the corners instead of in front the other builds kicks it and let it stay in front almost at an angle of the crease and then the offensive player just comes and knocks it in the stand-up, on the other hand, it kicks it to its side. And after I am in butterfly and I made a save and I see that the puck went one direction, I automatically hold puck, I mean puck, post hug. So I shoot over to the post and hug the post. That way, I know that I, um, I have the ability to save a rebound because it's more in the corner and the shot isn't coming straight on head on so that they can either pass it out or they can shoot the other side. I know it's in the corner. I'm going to shoot over to the corner and most likely save it. Now, with that said, the recovery isn't good. So that's why I would always add recovery in with a stand-up. So no matter what it is, usually my best builds, I'll show you actually. Let me get out of this so I can show you my build for um, stand-up. This is actually the build that I use the most. Um, it's a 6'5", 220 stand-up with high 2-up and quick recovery 2. Because then I can put it at a 65, and I mean 65, 6'5", six and the vision be at 95. And then I still get the same rebound control and the same recovery. Because the recovery, again, between 85 and 90 is the same. So both of those don't really matter to me in terms of rebound control. It's just what they give me. But once I get over an 85 for recovery, then it's the same as being at a 90. Now, you, you can see that my stick high and my stick low are really high. And my stick, my, what am I messing this up for? My glove high and my glove low, my uh, stick high are high and my lows my lows are lows and my five hole is extra open <laughs> because like I said, five hole doesn't mean anything to me. If you want to save five hole shots, you have to save manually save five holes. When you get, there's a tip, you have to time it and go down. When a player is close, you have to time it and go down. Here's the thing. EA hates when you square up pucks. When you square up pucks, EA automatically sends it to your five hole. So if you're a little bit off to the side, it will gladly kick it out or reach out and make the save. Square it up, EA decides it's going to go in, go through your arms or in between your legs. That's just what happens. Glove low, not many people, glove low and stick low, not many people shoot low. Like if you, if you played forward, and I've played a lot of forward, most of your shots are aimed high. Only time you go low is by accident or the game wants you to go low. Or if you're close in and you can't elevate the puck, in which case I would have been down in, five, in a butterfly anyway. So... I don't want to make this video go on to any longer, but there'll be more videos. If you have questions, ask in the comments. Like I said, the most important thing you need to take away from this, five hole is a joke. You've got to save those manually. Uh, vision, if you can get it to 95 by using stand up, do so. If not, just make sure it's above a 90 because um, you just need to follow the puck better. Like the, the, the agility then kicks in if your vision is high. Um, speed doesn't really affect you that much. My speed is at 84. doesn't really affect you that much. I think vision dictates that entire category. So that's why it doesn't matter. Uh, rebound control, if it's not on a stand-up, I don't like it on any of the other builds because they leave it right in front of the net for the other players to get. Um, recovery is important. So get that over 85, 87, whatever, between 90. 
Um, I hold a joke. I like glove high and stick high because most people you know attempt to shoot high. The lows, if it's gonna go low, it's gonna go low. And this game dictates what it wants you to do. You're gonna get scored on in cheesy ways. Like I said, there's gonna be way more videos, but I just wanted to show you or go over what I think is the best because I don't think people are going over this stuff anymore. People act like all of it is the same. It is not the same. I mean, a large part of it is how you play, but in order to be really good, you have to play a certain way. Uh, I appreciate you guys joining me on the Black Ice. Leave a message in the comments, a like, dislike. I don't care, man. Interact with the video. Tell me what you don't like or you love or whatever it is. There's more to come. I appreciate you.